Oh, yeah. He's back. Time for more of the Rod Peterson Show. <laughs> Welcome to Hour 2 of the program, everybody. Uh, Darren DuPont with me. We got we covered a lot of ground in Hour 1. Yeah, we did. Sportsnet's Arash Madani. Uh, the Great Cup kid, Tad Cornegay. There's a 30 for 30 right there. Oh. On Tad Cornegay. Right. And trust me, he would volunteer to be on it. I always said, if you don't know Cad, Tad Cornegay, go watch a Kevin Hart stand-up. That's Tad Cornegay. And you know what Tad says? I was around before Kevin Hart, so <laughs> he copied me. <laughs> He's such I a beauty. see it, too. He's such a beauty. Um... So a few things here. I wish we could just slow the roll, literally, because there's too many comments coming in. You know, the NHL draft lottery, the NHL's getting laughed at. It blew up in their face. The Team X won on Friday. I mean, I think I read myself personally millions of tweets scorning the NHL for what happened. And I thought, the first thing I thought of was, at least people care. Now, man, what passion. Because I'm not seeing that passion outpouring for the Canadian Football League right now where they're at death's door. So I said it needs to become NFL Canada. It needs to die, finish it off, and start over. NFL Canada. Dylan Spicer, who has said he doesn't support that, he says if they became NFL Canada and keep playing the Canadian game, I'm all for it. I just don't see them doing that. NFL game is just too boring and slow for me. Very possible uh, and I, <laughs> here's Tad. Oh, Tad's writing. He can't get enough of us. He says, to be clear, I am all CFL. Love the land, love the people. You all know that. But financially, the only way football can survive is if you have an NFL budget. Thank you. Thank you. Look, I don't, I was in the league for 20 years. Believe me, I, I, I proposed this on Winnipeg Radio this morning, and I've had nothing but blow back from Winnipeg or since I said the NFL Canada model. Hey, do you think it hurts my feelings when people come? Do you think? (laughs) Look, you guys that love the CFL, write a damn check yourself. Some guy wrote in near the end of hour one and said, it's not that there's not enough people that want to spend 15, 10 to $15,000. There's not enough that can. The numbers are right in front of your face. I feel like I'm just sitting here and ranting too much. If you love it that much, put your money where your mouth is. Because not enough people are doing that. You're just sitting there nodding. I know. And I, I love it. If, if people are watching closely, the more upset you get, the more uh, Damon Allen agrees with you. Because his head's going like this when you <laughs> slam the table. <laughs> the bobblehead. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. But no, it's true. It's true. And uh, yes, it will hurt for a second. Just like any relationship being over. But life will get better. And oh, the next one will be better. A lot better. It will. Ah, and that's... <clears throat> nothing will change. Thank you the, for agreeing, Damon. The, the people, the teams, the communities, the history, none of that goes away. None of that goes away. None of away. the team names go away. Nothing. The Grey Cup stays. The history yes. stays. The records stay. They might choose to keep the football in the field size in the three-down game because there's a lot of history. But it just be, becomes branded <laughs> NFL Canada. It doesn't have to become a winter league or a spring league or any of that stuff either. It's just a name, a brand. This is great. Tad again, by the way, says, Oh, man, a Tad Cornegay 30 for 30 would be great. Sign me up twice. We're all... That's part of it. We're going to make a list. The Great Cup Kid. Can you not see it right now? The, the Great Cup the... Kid. It's a hell of a story. Thank you. You're welcome, however you want to say it. <laughs> Jacques Dupuy in Ottawa is watching. He says, NFL Canada. CFL rules. Oh, now, now we're getting somewhere. See? The discussion hadn't even started yet, and everybody quickly slapped it in the face saying, we're not playing NFL rules, we're not doing this, we're not doing this, we're not Who doing this. Who said that? <laughs> and it's just, just, whoa. The only thing we've talked about is the name. That's it. All the nuts and bolts will get figured out. Rylan Betker writes in and says, if NFL Canada is a legit possibility and, and a way to save the CFL, you've got to have that conversation and explore what it will all be involved with it. You guys tell me when Ricky Foley is ready, by the way, a, a, a veteran of both leagues. And I just want to say this about NFL Canada. It is an entity that's been around for a long time. I've worked with them. Do you remember, maybe you don't, Green Bay Packers came up. Actually, 
It's like six NFL teams sent their players up here to practice with kids for a day. I ran, ran, helped with the camp here in Regina. And the NFL Canada says, we're not going to pay you, but you can put on your resume that you worked with NFL Canada. Is that cool? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't remember all the players for the Packers, but I do remember Donald Driver was one of them, if that means anything, for oh, the yeah. era. That's cool. For the era. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.